Douglas and Victoria, today we're here to join you in marriage and to share in the joy of this occasion, which will be one of the most memorable and happiest days of your life. On this day of your marriage, you stand somewhat apart from all other human beings. You stand within the charmed circle of your own love, and this is as it should be. But love is not meant to be the possession of two people alone. Rather, it would serve as a source of common energy, as a form in which you both find the strength to live your lives with courage. As we stand here today, I think back to only a few months ago. This day felt like a lifetime away, and all I wanted for, was for you to be home and for this day to finally be here. So I wanted to read a letter I wrote to you, but I never sent while you were on deployment because honestly, it was a bit too emotional and I didn't want to make you feel worse while you were gone for that long. Dear Doug, it's been five months since I last heard you drone on about something historical. Since I last heard you say, I'm not tired and promptly falling asleep. <laughs> and since I last saw you smile at me and tell me you love me. <laughs> Hearing your voice on the phone, even if it's only for a few minutes, is the happiest and saddest I've ever felt about one phone call. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sitting in that parking lot, watching you leave, I could only think of those sappy romance movies that I used to say, wow, I wish guys were actually like that in real life. And sitting in that car watching you leave, I could only think, I found that guy. Victoria, I vow to always be here for you no matter what the future holds. I'll always cherish you as the best friend and amazing woman that you are. Uh, who would have known that we would be standing here today? Probably wouldn't have guessed that, but here we are. Nope. <laughs> Life and love tended to find a way to bring us together, but I'd like to think it was fate brought me back to the woman that would someday be my wife. I truly am the luckiest of men, and I would give up a thousand lifetimes without you for just one day with you. It is true that not everybody, not every day has been sunny and bright. There have been some rainy and stormy days, but we have built together a strong house, a solid foundation, sturdy walls, and a roof that the hurricane couldn't toss us under. I know that together we can do anything, and I couldn't ask for a better partner in this life. I love you, Vicki, and I promise I always will. May your love and marriage to our son Douglas only grow stronger and deeper with the coming years as you build your life together. saw me through this love story is to not be afraid to take risks. They don't always work out, but when they do, the results are beautiful, uh, as we see here in the story of Mickey and Doug. They risk their friendship to give a relationship a shot, and the rest is history. If you can survive a long-distance relationship, I believe your relationship can survive anything. Doug and Vicky are a wonderful couple and after getting to know them over the years I know Doug will be a wonderful husband and Vicki will be a wonderful wife and I feel as though getting to know that you know Vicki more over the time that I've spent with her she is a wonderful caring kind beautiful young lady for Douglas Welcome Douglas into our family. As I look at my daughter, the bride, I can't help but reflect on all the years I was lucky enough to watch her grow and become the beautiful woman she is today. Uh, ready to take on her next leap of faith.
genuine. <laughs> you were the most genuine, kind, and honorable man, and I could I could have ever hoped for in my future husband. And I so look forward to never having the sea or duty between us ever again. I love you so much, and I'm so honored to be your wife. <laughs> <laughs>